Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jose Fati, and here are my team members, Simone Deep and Marwan Malou. Together, we worked on how to solve the traffic problem in Lebanon. And finally, we came up with the idea of creating a carpool app, but with a twist. So, has uh, anyone of you got ever stuck in traffic? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for example, here's a picture of the traffic in Lebanon. Uh, we have too many cars, and on average, every car contains only one person, except the bus, of course. Uh, so why not creating, create uh, an app that uh, incentivizes the user of uh, carpooling together uh, instead of creating traffic jams? And if you are ambitious, ambitious enough, why not uh, get a ride with this truck driver? <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> okay, so we've conducted the survey, and on average, uh, people spend 50 minutes per day stuck in traffic. And uh, we found out that uh, people uh, uh, rarely or never carpool together. But uh, what is interesting is that uh, peop uh, people uh, prefer to drive with someone instead of driving alone. So, so there's a difference between this statistics and this statistics. So we should create an app that motivates uh, the user of carpooling together. Okay, so there have been many apps in Lebanon. Uh, many people developed in Lebanon apps in order to carpool, to carpool together, but uh, none of them has succeeded. For example, any one of you actually uses a carpool app in Lebanon? No. Okay, no one uses. So why uh, we believe these apps haven't succeeded? So first, these apps don't, uh, don't incentivize the users of using them. Second, we are living in a country where uh, safety is an issue. So we should uh, really take this issue into consideration. And uh, we have and carpooling is a personalized experience. So we must permit the users of uh, setting some preferences like smoking or non-smoking in the car. Okay, so uh, basically our uh, solution is to take carpooling and stop it carpooling from another angle. So we started with our user interface. We try to simplify our user interface as much as possible. We have here our profile page. Uh, the user can uh, set uh, his preferences. We have our main page. It's very simple. You drive or get a ride. And uh, we've added uh, a special feature. For example, if, uh, we detect that there are too many drivers today on the road. The app notifies the users uh, that and advises them to get right instead of driving in order to earn even more points. Uh, so our app is, uh, of course, free of charge. But what, but what is uh, interesting is that it's a reward system. Uh, for example, if I'm driving with someone or uh, taking a ride with someone, I earn points. So basically, it's a game where everyone is the winner. The rider and the driver earn points. So this is our uh, pointing criteria. And uh, for example, if I'm uh, traveling from Al-Nichihuen to AB, which are 22 kilo kilometers far away, I earn 36 points. Well, what does these points are for? What do these points are for? Uh, in these two days, we managed to talk to some of these sponsors, and they actually like the app. Uh, for example, users can use these points in order to get uh, a discount with AXA, AXA, AXA insurance, or get a free gas coupon, coupon from uh, Malaco, or a free car wash from Malaco, or many other prizes. Okay, so our second concern is, of, of course, safety and security. Uh, after surveying many of many people, uh, we created a feature called gender lock, so people can choose. Uh, so, for example, men can choose to get right only with men, and women can choose to get right only with women for safety. And uh, users must trade every time each other after each ride. So, if a user gets an average score less than 3.5, will immediately be blocked from the app until further notice. And finally, we created an emergency button, which is really important. We talked with the, the general security and internal security in Lebanon, so if a user uh, doesn't feel safe in a car, the app will automatically send the exact location, car type, and plate number to the general security uh, so they can track uh, the car and send help immediately. Okay, so how our app will uh, collect revenue? So this app can, of course, collect many user data, and why not using this data 
to send targeted advertising. So for example, if I know that uh, a woman goes frequently to Beirut and her age is 24 years old, uh, I can uh, uh, use uh, the AdSense provided by Google and send her uh, relevant ads that she might be interested in. For example, I can send her ads about cosmetic shops nearby. Uh, okay, so we will first uh, test our app uh, uh, here in AUB so we can see what are the problems and we can solve them before uh, going to other universities, workplaces and expanding to the whole public later on. So now I'll show you, show you a video of uh, a demo of the app. Okay, so now, uh, now I'm getting right. I set my destination to a niche away. Then, for example, if someone wants to get right, he press on the get right button. He sets his destination, also or niche away or nearby. He sees the nearby drivers and uh, he waits for a response from someone waiting for John. John approved my uh, request. And here I'm uh, inside the app uh, uh, and I have uh, a location based ad and emergency button. The Right, finish, and I earned 36 points. Now I have enough points uh, to collect uh, a free car wash from my laptop. I go collect my reward. It's that easy.
we have done this only for uh, one uh, reason because if maybe someone else uh, is uh, he wants to monitor who is going from Hamra to to Jbeil, he can monitor anyone who wants. So if he wants to monitor this, he has to go to Hamra in order to know who is getting to Jbeil. So Thank we're you, on sir. this. Uh, Thanks. Can we get the team of miners please on stage?